there are a lot of romance thai dramas for you to watch but maybe you need an intense story involving a mafia these dramas which talk about mafia fill screen with different emotions since maybe they are villains but they also have a story or something to fight for here's a look at thai dramas about mafia that you will surely love Number 1 Cubic The father of Rutai Nak is in debt with a man called Lin Lang Ser who is a well-known member of the Hong Kong mafia As the ugly duckling of the family Rutai Nak is a very intelligent student but cannot compare with her sister's beautiful looks Lin Lang Ser decides to accept her sister as a payback for the high debts of her family but when the day comes to pay the debt the girl's father decides to run away with his eldest daughter As a result of this, Rutai Nak is captured by Ling Lang Ser's men and brought to his mansion. Cubic is not your usual crime action romance. It is a story about a romance between a high school girl with an IQ of a genius and a cold and calculator mafia boss. There are many shootings, killings and people running and hiding in this lacon. The props are poorly done, but if you can look past that, the story is quite addictive. Number 2, Hua Jai Sila. Tor is the son of a rich businessman and a mistress. After his mother dies from neglect, Tor is forced to live with his father's family. Abused by his stepmother and stepbrother, he turns to the girl next door, Mingta, who also suffers neglect at the hands of her so-called mother and sister. One night, while being chased by his stepmother, Tor jumps into a river and is presumed dead, though he survives. He is taken under the wing of another prostitute who knew his mother and takes on a new life under the alias Silla. Years later, he returns as a notorious rich pimp with plans to avenge his mother and to get revenge for the torture and pain brought to him by his stepmother and stepbrother. It's a very fast-paced story and each episode makes you cough for another episode. The main lead Tan Pop is mind-blowing. His character not only demanded intense emotions and acting skills but also charisma and an overall majestic aura. While the storyline itself is not so unique or complex as it is a typical revenge plot drama, the chemistry and acting between the characters make it really great. The drama is definitely worth your time. Just dive in and enjoy. Number 3, Kan La Krang Neo Nai Hua Jai. Pasai is heartbroken after her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. Yet he still has the nerve to ask her to take him back. So to avoid him, Pasai's friend took her on a trip to Japan. While she was there, Pasai was held at gunpoint by a Hong Kong mafia named Daniel Wong. The man was shot and needed a place to stay that night, so he ordered Pasai to take him to a hotel room. And that's how the story began. The story of the mafia part was quite decent. It was a good mixture of romance and action. The main lead mix is adorable. If you are looking for a light melodrama with a lot of romance, I would strongly recommend this one. Number 4, Chi Wei Puer Ka Hua Jai Puer Tur. Why you is a trained assassin who falls in love with Powery, the daughter of a rich businessman who is also an underground drug lord. Orphaned at young age and trained to be a hitman with no attachments, his heart and life is put to test when a girl with a bright smile melts his stone cold heart. With underground drug cartels fighting tough wars and the police hot on the case, can their love stand the test and can they make it out alive to the end? This drama has a very unique love story plot. It has so many twists and turns that make it a good show that is kind of addicting. Do stick to the series till the end. Number five. Luet Mung Kon Suya Wan Visa this is all for young mafia so he tries to get back at her however Wan Visa won't take the bullying she gets back at him by putting him in embarrassing situations they start exchanging blows teasing and pranking each other while they continue bickering she saves his life and many times coincidentally later she finds out that he is Paro the heir of a rich household he has been having bad luck and has many life threatening accidents A fortune teller tells his parent that he is in extreme bad luck. It may cost his life. 
the only way out of it is to find a girl who was born on a full moon Monday. Upon finding out that one visa was born on a full moon Monday, his parents try to wed them. However, the young tiger is too heavy lipped to accept his feelings for her. The chemistry between the leads was beautiful. He was so into her and pursued her till the end, but don't understand why he mistreated her badly. Well, there was romance, action, tear jerker moments, stress, and some hilarious moments too. Overall, it's an enjoyable show. Number 6 You Prince, The Ambitious Boss. Mantau, a mafia boss's daughter, dreams of getting married after high school to the man she was betrothed to as a child. But that man has other dreams. So her parents try to arrange another marriage. This time, the chosen groom is the son of the mafia boss. At first, Mantau refuses since she feels nothing for Brian, not knowing that he has had a crush on her since they were children. However, Brian strives to win her love in the midst of jealousy, misunderstandings and a potentially devastating battle between Thailand's three major mafia families. The story was fun. The mafia background is carried solely by Brian through his tough acting skills. Moon played the right amount of stupid for this show and it cracked me up. This was an entertaining watch. Number 7. Murasum Sawat Saim Fu is a CEO who comes from gangster background but wants to turn away from his past and rebuilds his life. He meets and falls in love with Kwang, an innocent student, but they are separated due to misunderstandings. Number 8. Maika Kanom Wan A female engineer named Bai Pai is boyish and frequently dresses like a man. Coupled with a skill in Muay Thai, people tend to think that she's a boy. However, she is good at making desserts, so when she quits her engineering job due to problems with her boss, she gets the idea to open her own Thai dessert shop. It is in this job that she meets the handsome owner of an entertainment complex business and mafia boss, Vacharat, who develops a crush on her. Number 9. My Himalayan Embrace Santharaka, a son of Rachisa, is a handsome and headstrong Indian billionaire fleeing the hunt of the mafia group from the Himalayas to hide in Chiang Mai. Santharaka meets Danika, the owner of a restaurant in Chiang Mai. Santharaka tries to win her heart, knowing that Danika likes to watch the stars. But Danika, like Kiri, a waiter who has a difficult life because of his drunken mother. Kiri tried to do anything to push himself up to compete with Santarakat and up working illegally with Sikarin, Nanika's stepfather, until he made his way to rich and fought Santarakat in every way. Number 10. Luet Tat Luet This is the story of two men, one a police officer and the other a mafia gang leader. Both were switched at birth due to a revenge plan made by the mother of the real Khun Chai Taicho, who raises her enemy's son to make him kill his own father. What will be the fate of these two? Which of these mafia love stories you found interesting? Please let us know in the comments down below. Also, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.